All right, guys, we're back in my garage, and we're back with the donor tractor here, and um, I'm going to try to show um, the donor tractor here um, hooked up to the bubbler, which is hooked up to the test cell. Okay, as test cell was shown to pull about 60 amps, 55 amps, um, and it was given about 60 uh, liters an hour, um, which is not enough to run the tractor. So I've already started working on a another cell, um, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try to use a little common sense, and we're looking at this size of this cylinder on this tractor. So this cylinder, okay, is about it's about the size of my hand here. So we're filling the size of a cylinder with gas every split second when it's running, and especially when it's running on, um, you know, running full speed. So if you look here, we're definitely not filling up that volume of gas in this bubbler every split second of HHO, especially not at 60 uh, liters per hour. And this cell the test cell here um, doesn't even have I'd say about that much of a gap um, between the um, top of, of uh, gas space so we can already tell that this is never going to run the tractor which was no surprise I didn't expect it to we were just trying it for um, just to see what would happen I did get a couple of pops out of it we can try. Let me see if I can try and show you guys what we come up with. I'm just going to check to see if it's ready to go. All right, I'm going to turn it on. Okay, let me turn on the uh, cell first and get this thing bubbling. Okay, we're building up pressure. All right, we got bubbles coming out. We're going to let the air force out. So I'm going to try to prime the tractor here. Give it a couple pulls with the ignition off. Okay, let's turn the ignition on. Let's check to see if it's ready. One more pull maybe. 